Hello, welcome to your impromptu what's on their mind read. With Journey with Spirit Tarot, I am Anuka, your spiritual advisor and intuitive tarot reader. This is going to be for all zodiac signs, masculine and feminine in separation. This is going to be just a quick peek. <sighs> I am on the psychic line at the moment so i'm waiting for calls to come through so i figured while i'm waiting and meditating i just did a reading for myself and the energy was quite good so i figured you know let me pull on your energy for your person this will not resonate with everyone this may be 20 to 25 minutes long i'm not really sure so um yeah it's ready King of Swords is here, Aquarius, Air Signs. Someone is needing to make a decision, is making a decision, has made a decision, and is sticking to it. No ifs, ands, ors about it. You are your person in connection to you. When it comes to knowledge and action, Meaning what they say and saying what they mean and sticking to it, being very cold and decisive, cutting. Three of swords, three, five of wands. All right, so someone has made their line in the sand collective right now. Your person is feeling your energy, your detachment. Ace of Wands, your person right now wants to take action towards you and they're wanting you passionately right now. But they're wanting a, um, a, a new passionate beginning because you guys are not speaking right now with Five of Wands. There's defensiveness and conflict. It could be Fire Sign, Nine of Cups. This person could be overindulging at the moment. This is the energy I'm getting from this card. This is also the Wish Fulfillment card, but this is also with the Cups. This person could like to overindulge. Also, um, this person does see you as their wish fulfillment, right? Or they could have been cut and sharp with you, okay? And you're doing this. But someone in the connection, y'all both could be in this energy, actually, right? What else do they need to see? Yeah, the tower. Your person is going through the tower energy right now. Right now in their energy when you're watching this. Two of Wands. They're in planning before they head out on their new journey, their journey towards you. What else do they need to see on their person's thoughts right now? What else do they need to see? And Three of Pentacles, yeah. They're thinking about taking action towards... Um, reaching out to either make a plan because see how they're planning they're writing they're planning and the two of wands energy they're planning on making reaching out to want to work with you collaborate and if this isn't for separation then this is someone thinking or you thinking or planning on reaching out to someone or something that you have emotional ties to but a death has this this relationship is dead by the way um this is literally going to be raising from the dead and this is what this person thinks also with this tower energy um Something within them is dying, um, and they are letting go of things. Things are ending. They do want something to be reborn with you, okay? These are your last two cards, yeah, because you walked away with the Eight of Cups energy. Either you walked away from them, they walked away from you, you finished it, but regardless. But see how this person, they're, they're watching this person walk away. And then with the hermit energy, again, they're not communicating this with you right now. So even if you've not received communication, you see how they're looking up into the sky? They're wishing, hoping, thinking, manifesting. That's why I was feeling this energy. A knight of pentacles on an offer that has taken a long time to come in. And then we have the king of pentacles. It could be an earth sign, but this person takes their time but what they're gonna t they, they could be selfish but they're also abundant but see how he just laid back taking his time he is not concerned about making a move all right this person is abundant okay materialistically and that's part of their problem they put too much emphasis on the material world 
but this knight of pentacle he's been taking a long time to bring this offer to you see wait 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 a minute hold on wait there's something again distracted distractions distractions look at look the horse is looking at the goat everyone's distracted right so this person that's always distracted goats anything passing wind other people family work sports uh uh i don't know uh, chats uh, uh, eating drinking whatever it is for you you know an ex whatever uh whatever they can't let go of and is this a repeating pattern for you this person now wants to bring you stability right but this is the the, the toxic traits of this person right that's who this is they want to bring something to you y'all and see how he's holding it though he don't have it out most decks he's offering he's wanting you to listen okay so they may be coming into with something slow to offer you but they want to apologize they want you to listen seven of cups okay but they're confused right now they don't know what to do so they're in a state of confusion they know what they want still okay three of cups they want reunion with you. Could be third party situations. This party could have liked to, you know, socialize a bit too much. Like to party. Like to put other people first. Whatever that's going to resonate for your situation. Okay, but again, six of wands and six of cups. This person is wanting victory with you. They're wanting to come to you. They're wanting to take flight. See? Just waiting for the right time. To go to the perfect destination. Six of Cups, where they will, and back to you. Hoping that you'll take whatever it is that they want to give you. They're thinking about you. Looking at your picture. Look, he's bringing something. Okay? But are you going to be waiting? Right? You can't see this person's expression. See his expression? See the fox? So that's where your person is right now as far as in their energy collective. I'm going to clarify this with a major arcana for you right quick. I hope that you're enjoying your midday. But this is your person's energy. This is those midday thoughts of your person right now. Like I said, I don't plan to do these. It's just when I feel. Like I say, I'm just uh, sitting back, waiting for my blessings and my... My people that God's sending to me today, that's meant to come to me today, to ring my phone. You know? So I said, well, let me get on and see what's up because I'm feeling someone's energy. So let's see. I believe that this person, yeah, I, this person was very cold towards you. That's why that King of Swords energy came out. They're needing to make a decision and they are making a decision. They're thinking hard today, y'all. But this person was called towards you. Okay. Way too many cards, but I'm going to keep them all. Okay. Any doubt, we've got the lovers on the bottom of the deck. All right. So this situation is in regards to that person. Again, if there was any question, it is the fuck boy, fuck girl, whoever that is. Devil energy, toxic energy when it comes to this connection. Okay, the cards that came out was the world wanting a new beginning, a new start, brunch at a new day, two of cups pouring equally into one another. This is what they're wanting with you. You all probably like brunch. They want to go out to brunch with you. Brunch could be significant. They may invite you to brunch, okay? Who knows, y'all? Um, because at least with that, if they invite you to brunch, they don't have to worry about having a long, drawn-out meeting. They can always, you know, brunch is usually somewhat short. You know what I'm saying? It's not as much commitment or effort for real as, like, dinner. All right? Empress is here, so this is how they see you. Their divine counterpart. Okay? Abundant, creative, entrepreneur. And then the chariot. They want to take movement, but they're stuck right now. But they want to come towards you. The chariot energy. What's not being said between them and their person right now? Ooh. What's not being said between them and their person right now? What's in the shadows? What's 
in the shadows. What's the name of their person? These are the cards that I use on my clients when they call. So. Let's see, y'all. What's not being said? What's the first energy you want them to see? First energy, I fantasize about you. I told you with that Ace of Wands, they wanted you passionately right now. Mm-hmm. I've been struggling lately. Yeah. Well, I'm here. Tell me. I'll tell them. <laughs> what else you want to? What else you want to tell them? I pretend that I don't care. So if you feel that this person doesn't care about you, it's not true. They're just good at acting. This person should have an Academy Award for real, man. Look, I focused on you instead of my grief. This may be you to them or both of you to each other. You know, you could have put so much of your time and energy on the why, and I don't really know you. This is you to them. And give me one more for their person. My collective's given me three. The collective have said that they focused on their grief. They focused on their person instead of their grief. They don't really know them. Oh, your person said I've been struggling lately. Okay. We are more alike than I admit. This may be you to them or them to you or both. You all may be, it might be mutual energy. What else? Wow. I pretend you don't mean that much. This could be you all. I think this is your person, y'all. Look, all this pretending energy, devil energy. The devil is a deceiver. Look at this. Look, I'm sorry. Their perspective is changing. I wish you would come back. Y'all left. I never used to look at you in that way. They look at you in a different way. Your self-respect makes you more attractive, kings and queens, and you're letting them know. You did not break me. Okay. What's the romance angels have to say for the collective? That was deep, okay. And I mind you, this is with the lovers. See how they're looking away? Hmm. Look, look what just came out. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. This is what your person's trying to do. They're trying to take control of their life. Control the situation. Because they're tied and bound. I never noticed, but this unicorn or whatever it is, is bound to the fence. He's chained to the fence by his neck. And you know what they say, the woman's the neck, the man's the head. Oh, that was where my cards bent all weird. Yeah, the man's the head, the woman's the neck. Yeah, that head can't move without the neck. You got to be in one. They got to free themselves, and that's what they're trying to do right now, y'all. Shit, I might mark this a 411. Get your energy right. <laughs> Look. Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. They want to get along with you. Like I said, I still fantasize about you. This could be a new new beginning. This is what's in their energy. And it said that they fantasizing too. Mm-hmm. If y'all feeling horny, that's why. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life, y'all. So this is who you've been waiting for. Or they they waiting for you. Divine timing is here if you got that much patience. All right. And then here, you deserve love on the bottom of the deck. All right. So they're learning that they do deserve love. You're learning that you deserve love. You are lovable. Because once they love themselves, then they can love you. 
And then again with forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So that's what they're trying to do. Release the past. And forgive and learn. Okay. I'm going to get you um, romance as these calls is coming in. I just missed one. So I got to hop off here so I can help other people. But I hope I was perfect timing right when I talked about divine timing, right? So I hope that you have enjoyed this what's on your person's mind. A little midday. Let's see. What else do they need to see? Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. So the cards that came out for you guys was um, Love Call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. Oh my gosh. Okay. And passion, insane chemistry, like each other equally and having fun. Wow. So this has been, and then heart with a key. Welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together, perfect timing, and then photograph. Looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, and making new memories. Y'all, your person's thinking about you right now. They fantasizing about you. They want you. They not letting you know. They act like they don't care. Being quiet and making no movement is easier than making any movement. It's easier to make you think that you don't care than to make you think that they do care. That is still the easiest way. Just saying. So this has been your midday thoughts of your person with a journey with spirit tarot a new cat they really think that they slick trying to have the upper hand they really are trying to have the upper hand y'all still whoever your person is they trying to be slick they still need to let you need to work on them could let go of control issues because you're still trying to control the situation take all the time that you need okay because it's nothing but the divine time and divine will because you keep on and the universe and they gonna manifest a soulmate because there's emperors empresses high priests and high priestesses in this bunch dude girl I just thought I'd say that for somebody. Anyways, until next time, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Bye.